practice you must. Hi everybody. This video is on valve shutdown skill and procedure. I will try to show you how I practice it and indicate the main points of the skill. I will also show you a simulated out of gas situation and the side bomb diver's immediate reaction to solve this problem. Now let's take a look at this crazy guy practicing. Before this guy entered the water, he needed to go for a land drill of the same skill. I show I'm about to begin the drill. I identify the regulator. Once the regulator in the mouth is identified, I prepare the other regulator and purge it to make sure the other valve is open. If this is the long hose, I unclip it not to be forced to break the O-ring bolt snap connection as this is just a drill. In a real out of gas situation, I can simply break it not to waste time unclipping it. Next, I shut down the valve. I take a breath until I feel cut out. And here comes another crucial moment. On realizing I am out of work, I signal the team I'm in distress. At the same time, my right hand reaches for the mouth in order to identify the regulator. And let me pause for a moment here. I strongly emphasize the importance of regulator identification. It's just one more element in the puzzle that can save us a lot of trouble. The angle means the left regulator. No angle and the bolt snap means the right cylinder. It is all I need to remember and always keep in mind as well as practice heavily in order to train my muscle memory. Although it is advisable that the diver remembers which regulator he is on at every moment of the dive, it's good practice, in my personal opinion and imperative one, that whatever we are about to do which is related to the regulators, like switching, SPG check, shutting down for example, we need to identify first. Thanks to this important move, I already know which regulator I need to switch to. Even if my regulator accidentally got squeezed under my armpit or slid to the back, I know I will find it because I know what I am looking for. So coming back to the dry drill. After the identification I know which one to grab and I immediately switch to the other regulator but try not to rush. When the problem is solved, I will need to let my team know I'm OK and signal them. Finally, which is extremely important, I make sure I open the closed valve. I may also finish this exercise with an OK signal. Alright, so how about visiting the funny guy in the pool again? You can begin practicing without your primary light and only simulate its use. I would also suggest practicing with no fittings to solidify the skill.
you can add your primary lights to the procedure. Now let's see why we purge the regulator while preparing it. The diver here purges it and notices there is no gas coming out. So he opens the valve straight away. It's easy to forget reopening the valves we previously closed, especially during the repetition of the drill. So remember and purge. So far we have been practicing the drill in a pool. Now let me show you a simulation of OOG in open water. I hope you have found this video of some value. In that case, share it or like it please. Just remember to always practice this skill in a safe environment and in company of your buddy.
or an instructor and smell shallow. Yeah.